welcome back to Lolly Bee Bridge. Today, we are hanging out with our friend Blue. Yeah, tonight is the first meeting of her brand new book club that she has named Blue's Book Club. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've heard she has something very special planned for tonight. <laughs> Let's go see what she's up to. Look, there's Walter and Blue. <laughs> oh, I'll draw the Lolly Bee Bridge Lake Monster. I think she'll be bluish green <laughs> and have spots. Hi, Blue. What you doing? Hi, Walter. I'm working on my very special book for tonight's book club. It's all about cool mythical creatures. I'm nearly finished. I just need one more, but I can't think of anything. And it's nearly time for the book club. One more creature? What type of creature? Can I see the book? Sure. I'm documenting all kinds of strange mythical creatures, the kind people tell stories about, but I've run out. Oh no, what other creatures have you written about? Well, the most recent chapter is all about the Lolly Bee Blake monster. What? There's a Lolly Bee Blake monster? <gasps> I didn't know that. I've been swimming in the lake this whole time. <gasps> and there could have been a monster nibbling at my toes? <laughs> it's okay, Walter. The lake monster isn't real, silly goose. It's not? <laughs> no, it's just a story. Really? Yeah, Miss Coates told us that sometimes people think there are monsters, but the monsters aren't really there. Like the Loch Ness Monster or the Ogopogo? I've written about them in my book. Oh, phew. But I still need one more for my book, and then I'll be done. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like Blue can't finish her book about strange mythical creatures. Huh. Do you have any strange creatures she could write about in her book? No? Huh. Well, maybe Walter will have something that will help. Well, maybe you can write about a strange creature that I saw. You saw something? Really? Can I write about it? Yeah. I saw it when my family and I went to Australia. The local said I saw a bunny yip. A what? A bunny yip. What is it? Well, it all started when my family went on an Australian camping trip. I had to travel for a really long time to get to Australia. It's a long ways away from Lollibee Bridge. One afternoon, I decided to take a walk around a little lake when the strangest thing happened. I saw something bobbing in the water. I thought it was a log, but then it would go under for a long time and then come back up. I turned around to leave and I heard the strangest sound. When I turned back around, I saw it. It had a really big body and gray fur, and it sounded like a seal. Oh gosh, were you scared? I, oh, uh, I, well, um, ah! I ran away so fast, I didn't have time to be scared. As I was running back to the campsite, I ran into my friend Wally. 
Do you know what he told me? What? He said the creature I saw was a bunny yip. A bunny yip? That is so cool. Yeah. Huh. I wonder what it looks like. Me too. I had never heard of one of those before. And I ran away too fast to get a good look. So... No, maybe we should go to the library and ask Miss Books. That's a great idea. Then maybe you can add it to your book. Hi, Miss Books. And hi, friends. <gasps> hi, Walter. Are you here for Blue's book club meeting? You're a little bit early, but I was just telling our friends about Blue's special mythical creatures book. I'll be back for the book club later. I'm here to help Blue with her book. Oh? Well, how can I help? When my family and I went to Australia, I sort of saw something. You sort of saw something? Yeah, a strange creature in the water. But I didn't get a very good look at it because, uh, I ran away too fast. Oh my, do you know what the creature was called? Yeah, my friend Wally said it was a bunny yip. A bunny yip? Oh, well, I don't think I've ever heard of a bunny yip before. Have you heard of a bunny yip? Huh. Well, maybe I can find a book right here in the library. Hold on, I'll be right back. I found a book all about Australia. Let's see what it says. Yeah, there's an entry right here for bunny yip. It says a bunny yip is a mythological creature found in Australia. And according to Aboriginal mythology, they're found near water. I saw it in water. Well, it says the bunny yips might be real, but... Most likely, they're seals that have just swim in from the ocean. Oh, it sounded a little bit like a seal. Huh, well, I wonder if you saw a bunny yip or if you saw a seal. <laughs> isn't it funny how we're always seeing monsters where there aren't any? Yeah, it is strange. Well, you should go show this book to Blue. It has a lot of information about bunny yips. So maybe she can finish her book on special and strange mythological creatures. You're right, I'll go show her now. All right, Walter, well, I'll see you a little bit later for Blue's Book Club. Bye, Miss Books. Blue, guess what? What? Did Miss Books help? She did. Libraries always have the answers. And I've brought you a book that has information about bunny yips. That's great. I'm nearly finished writing down your bunny yips story. See? That's so cool. That way, if anyone else from Lollibee Bridge goes to Australia, they'll know all about the bunny yips. If they're real, that is. Wait, what do you mean, if they're real? What do you mean by if? Well, like the Loch Ness Monster and the Ogopogo, no one really knows if the bunny yip is real. That's what makes it a strange and mythical creature. I suppose that's true. Thanks for the book, Walter. Are you coming to the very first book club tonight? You bet I am. I can't wait to hear all about the other monsters in your very special book of strange and mythical creatures. Well, it looks like Blue's book on strange and mythical creatures is coming along nicely. <laughs> I wonder what other strange and mythological creatures she has in there. I'm pretty excited to find out. 
oh goodness, it's almost time for book club. I better get the library ready. All right, friends. Well, thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you again real soon. <laughs> Bye.